As we transition into the cooler fall-like temperatures, it's time to enjoy something warm and hearty. And today, Ashley Semper is here with us. We're going to be making chili today, Ashley. We are making chili, but it's not your average chili. Uh oh. Okay. It's pig skin chili. Pig. You have to explain yeah, that. One. Play what on words. A little play on words. Chili. So we're going to use pork in, okay. in the chili, and pig skin is another term that you use for football. Yes. And so, if you're tailgating or you just want to make something for the football yeah. season. I love that. This is great. Pigskin chili. Pigskin chili. Okay. So, a lot of ingredients. Yes, a lot of ingredients. So, but it's easy. What I like about this is that you don't have to cook any of your meat or peppers or onions first. Mm -hmm. You can put it just in here. And I don't know. I used to think that you had to like cook all your meat before you put it in the crock pot. But really? you put something in the crock pot, pot for eight to ten hours, it yeah. better cook, right? Absolutely. <laughs> better, that meat better be cooked. So, okay. <laughs> This is actually just pork tenderloin. So okay. you can buy a pork loin. It comes in a long tube. It's one and a half pounds that I got. Mm -hmm. And I did trim it down. So if you see white part, the white part on there, I trimmed some of the fat off. Okay. And then I cubed it up really small. Nice. So it's one and a half pounds. And I will say that when you compare pork loin to like an 80% um, 80, 80-20 ground beef that mm -hmm. you would buy, it has three grams of saturated fat in it, where the 80-20 ground beef would have nine grams of saturated fat, okay. which is the kind that's better for our, our hearts. We don't, want, we don't want to overdo the saturated right. fat. So that's why I'm choosing a leaner form of meat. Okay, and what about for the pork police, if they don't eat oh. pork? <laughs> you don't eat pork. Is there any substitutes? You or could do, go I would do meat? a 90-10 ground beef, okay. or a ground chicken, or a ground turkey. Those would be leaner. Something ground. To replace the <laughs> you don't have to do ground. You could do a, a turkey tenderloin. Okay. You could buy a turkey tenderloin. That would work too. We have options. That's okay. good. Plenty That's of good. options. Um, you could leave the meat out and just do beans, extra beans, if okay. you don't want meat at all. vegetarian so. spin. Pinto beans are what we are using here. So I love pinto beans. That is one of those big cans. Um, you could use black beans. You can use chili beans. I just thought the Pinto beans went really well in, in this. So okay. you're going to add at basically everything on the other side there. Everything. Does it matter where I start? Um, I, I kind of have it organized there. So Perfect. we've got our pepper that's yellow, bell pepper, and onion, which you typically would see in a chili. Yes. If you need help, I can. Got it. You want to scoop that out? I will. I, we're going to get every last onion. <laughs> I love onions. And, okay, so this is a key here to help cut some sodium. Buy the no salt added canned products. So okay. I was able to find no salt added canned diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. Mm. So go ahead and pour, I left the liquid in there and everything. Got to get that juice, right? I did drain and rinse the pinto beans, so that cuts the sodium by 40%. Okay, and we have two cans of these. Two cans of the diced tomatoes. And then I think you got a little spatula for that. That's the tomato paste. paste. Mm -hmm. So a full can of tomato paste. It'll give it a little bit of a thickness to it. Yeah. And how did you come up with this? My, my favorite question to ask. <laughs> this one I came up with years ago. I couldn't tell you, but it probably was me thinking about football and how to make a leaner version. Mm. And then I was like, pork. And then that's called pigskin. And then it all came together. Look at that. A masterpiece. I have a couple of different chili recipes. And I do some of the go-to seasonings are kind of standard. Mm -hmm. But um, like these things here that you're about to pour in, they're pretty standard in, in most of my chilies. So that's a low-sodium vegetable juice. Okay. That has 140 milligrams in 8 ounces versus like 630 in the regular version. So saving a ton of sodium. That's a secret ingredient. That is beer. That is light beer. 12-ounce light beer. Okay. And what you does can't the beer taste add it. You can't it. taste it. Yeah. It's just another form of, of liquid. Um, I, I will say you can't, it's not like a strong beer taste, but mm -hmm. it definitely has something. Yeah, it's not the first time I've seen somebody cook with beer. You but could I've do chicken broth, it... or you could do extra water if you don't want to put the beer in there. But there that's just a cup of water. Okay. And why not? You can say there's beer in your chili. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Brown sugar. That brown sweetens sugar. it up. Okay. So that's a quarter cup of brown sugar. Minced garlic. Minced garlic. Tablespoon. This looks like chili powder. Mm -hmm. Chili powder. Two tablespoons of that. What's chili without chili powder, right? It wouldn't be chili, would it? <laughs> well, I bet white chicken chili doesn't have chili powder in it, though. Really? No, just I don't think it does. I've never had white chicken chili. It's good. Okay, so that's cumin. And because I cut back on all the salt, I'm able to kind of control the amount of salt that I want in mm -hmm. here. And so... I did add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put a little bit, a little, little, little bit, bit of, bat. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't <laughs> and get then out. Squeeze the heck out of those limes. All that lime juice is going in there. I was actually, I was watching Oprah years ago with my mom, and she has a trick to get all the juice out. Yeah. She actually bites it and squeezes it. <laughs> I'd like to see you do that, Sean. <laughs> really? 
doing? No, don't do that. <laughs> what I would advise is rolling it first. Yeah. That evenly distributes the juices. I think I've heard that you can like heat it a little bit in the microwave. What? But sometimes you just get a bad lime or lemon and it just all goes and then yeah. you, it's not. Well, those so. are good. Good one. So this is eight to ten hours on low. So you can okay. cook it overnight or you can start like on a Sunday morning and then it might be ready for your Sunday night football. I've got it garnished. I think it matches perfectly with a little yeah. bit more lime, um, light sour cream, and then some cilantro leaves on top. So after all that cooking, that's the slow cooking, it turns into such a beautiful masterpiece. Yeah, Let's go ahead and so give it good. a taste. And that pork really breaks down. Mm, I love a good chili. I love a good chili. This is perfect. I'm going to go back in. have to have tuba taste. So this is about 250 calories in a cup and three grams of fiber. It tastes really well. I don't taste the beer. Do you taste the hint of sweetness from the brown sugar? I don't, I can't say that I do. Okay. It's not too sweet. So maybe. It's not supposed to be super it's sweet. It's blended in quite well. Yeah. I can say yeah. that. But it would be probably a lot more acidic, I think, from the tomato products if mm -hmm. you didn't add it. Yeah. So it kind of offsets that a little bit. All right. She said it earlier. Perfect for football. In the cool temperatures, time to bring out that chili. You can find this recipe and more on 25newsnow.com. Just click on the Healthy Bites tab. I have the pork <laughs> in my mouth. We'll be back after the break.